okay. Everything is well. Okay, let's start. Hello, everyone. We welcome to join uh, today's live streaming. Uh, here is today we will talk about how to design uh, uh, one mushroom farm or uh, factory. Um, actually, from the starting, uh, uh, many uh, friends have no idea to know much about the uh, details uh, of the designing of the one mushroom factory. Um, so uh, today, let's introduce about it, and then you will can um, get uh, some ideas or some uh, maps uh, to uh, arrange or design your current or uh, future mushroom farm or mushroom factory. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's start it. Um, First of all, there are no three industrial wastes around the mushroom plant, far away from the village. Uh, convenient transportation, uh, sufficient water source, no nest wedge, no sea wedge, and other pollution sources. As you know, uh, the factors are very important for the. A mushroom factory. Uh, as you know, it's easier to get infection or, or co contaminate uh, uh, with the dusty uh, bacteria um, for the mushroom spawn or mushroom fruiting. So that's impo important. The mushroom factory mainly in includes raw material storage or zero one. Two is a uh, mixing room and bagging or bottling a room, a sterilization room, cooling room, inoculation room, and uh, calculation room. Uh, just uh, uh, also means incubation room and uh, all the fungi remove, uh, removing room and fruiting room. Bag separate room or, or bottle uh, digging or empty room, then uh, packing room, and then uh, cold room and string uh, culture room. And also, you can consider to arrange that according to your current uh, plan or budget. So uh, these are not uh, very, very uh, ne necessary. So you can increase or decrease uh, related uh, rooms according to your needs. That's not fixed, OK? Okay, uh, that uh, are the complete different function rooms and uh, different uh, regions play different functions and work together to complete the factory production of the mushroom uh, factory. Okay, next we will uh, from one part, the first part uh, let's introduce more uh, for you, okay? Uh, the first of all is raw material storage area. Uh, as far as I, we know, uh, some growers um, usually uh, order the um, substrate materials from local part or from somewhere to get the finished uh, substrate material, but um, for the larger mushroom um, factory, uh, they prefer to uh, get the raw materials and then they process it by themselves. And, and this way, it can save, uh, save much cost on the 
uh, processing the raw material. And this way, uh, their uh, production cost can be cheaper. But it's also um, according to your mushroom production scale. Uh, if it's uh, smaller or small uh, production scale, uh, so it's not necessary to uh, process the raw material by yourselves. Uh, if you um, plan to If you plan to, uh, if you plan to uh, process the uh, raw material, then uh, you have to pay uh, attention on it. The raw materials used in the production of mushroom are mainly uh, wood chips, bran, uh, and corn cob and uh, cotton seed husk, soybean meal, and uh, corn uh, flour, etc. Uh, exact uh, the substrate material types. It's also uh, depend on your uh, local condition uh, because uh, in some countries they can get, uh, for example, they can get uh, sawdust materials very easier but they can't um, get the brain or uh, cotton seed husk. So uh, and they also can get another material to replace, replace it. So it's flexible, it's not fixed, okay? So the treat need to be stored in a dark um, and dry place. Calculate the original stock a stock based on the scale of the uh, production. Uh, so as for the um, railroad, about the uh, storage, uh, you can con uh, consider to um, calculate your current production scale. Then you can calculate to make sure the size of the storage railroad. Uh, generally, storage capacity doesn't uh, exceed three months of the normal uh, production, and then design the size of the storage room. Storage room it should be close to the main uh, main road and open a larger door just uh, to facilitate uh, the entry and uh, exist of the transportation uh, cars or transportation uh, vehicles, just, uh, um, just uh, to make it very co convenient for the transportation, um, okay. Uh, a stranger or crusher should be placed in the storage room uh, for uh, for the processing of the so um, the larger sawdust sawdust wood or straw or corn cob etc. So uh, in this uh, storage uh, array, uh, if you want to process the uh, raw material by yourself, so you have to uh, prepare one. A uh, suitable capacity of the uh, sawdust crusher and uh, straw car, um, crusher and uh, corn cob crusher. So, um, exact the crusher type you need. It just uh, depend on the uh, substrate material you will use in your mushroom production. Okay, that's the uh, part one raw material storage or railroad. Uh, if you don't plan to process it by yourself, you also can uh, make a smaller storage or railroad. Just uh, you order uh, the finished materials from uh, somewhere or a lo local market. You can um, place it on this railroad. So uh, it also will be easier to arrange it, okay? Okay, let's go into part two.
mixing room. The mixing room is mainly used to place the mixer and uh, feeding bell to conveyor. Uh, as the as the substrate material is uh, mixed, a large amount of the dust will be generated. This requires uh, insulation from other rooms and uh, installation of the dust removal devices to uh, avoid, avoid environmental pollution. Yes, just the, uh, the request for the uh, mixing room. Uh, as for the volume of the uh, mixer and uh, quantity uh, are uh, learns about the filling conveyor. Uh, it also uh, depends on the actual uh, your mushroom production. Okay, uh, and the next one uh, is a mushroom bag, um, bag uh, or bottle filling room. Um, most uh, mushroom growers prefer to use bag, bag uh, cultivation system, but some also um, uh, prefer to use bottle cultivation system uh, because the bottles can be reused. So uh, as for the bag or bottle filling room, just uh, according to your uh, actual um, cultivation system, Uh, in the bagging or bottling room, uh, one or several quantity of the bagging or bottling machine and an uh, interminator and uh, uh, sterilized trolleys and uh, <coughs> bottles and bags and the main uh, work place for the sterilization are placed. So it's required to be uh, spacious, just the uh, larger one, larger space, and will uh, ventilate it. Okay, just to make this room a uh, larger, larger one, just to have enough space to place the um, bag of bottle filling machines and uh, uh, autoclave sterilizer and also um, um, several quantity of the sterilized trolleys, uh, etc. Uh, the bagging process is just uh, uh, filling and uh, cleaning the bag moss and uh, and some growers they uh, sometimes make the holes in the middle of the mushroom bags or mushroom bottles and uh, um, and then place the filled substrate bags or bottles on the sterilized trolleys. Uh, next, push the trolleys into the autoclave uh, chamber and then um, go into the sterilization procedure. Uh, that's the main um, working procedures in this um, part three room. Uh, that's, that's all. Um, okay, um, you, if you are interested in bottle filling or uh, working procedure, we also can introduce for you, uh, the bottle, the bottle filling process is just the bottle filling and uh, cleaning the bottle mouth and the punch, um, a bottle cap, and then uh, place the um, filled bottles on the sterilized carts, and then close the doors of the outclave and uh, go into a nest nest. Uh, uh, sterilization um, procedures. 
uh, whatever you use the mushroom bags or mushroom bottles, you have to pay attention to the quality of the bags or bottles and the quality of the uh, substrate material and the physical structure of the um, bags or bottles. Um, usually, it's tighten, um, tighten top and uh, as for the bottom, it's uh, loosened. Uh, whether the perform uh, perforation is normal, whether the uh, check whether the bottle or bag moss is uh, normal um, and it's sealed, um, just um, whether broken, some something etc. Um, part uh, four is uh, sterilization room. Uh, the commonly used the, the sterilization method for the uh, uh, mushroom mycelium uh, in the production of the mushroom fungi is most heat, most heat sterilization. Uh, that's the method of the killing uh, microorganism by steam at the same uh, temperature. Uh, moist uh, heat uh, sterilization is more effective than dry heat sterilization because um, high temperature steam will generate uh, heat when encountering colder uh, substrate and uh, con condense into water uh, droplets. Uh, during the moist heat sterilization, the actual contact uh, temperature of the bacteria is higher. At the temperature of the water vapor, uh, the penetrating power of the moist heat sterilization is greater. Is greater than uh, of the uh, dry heat sterilizations, and the uh, less lethality is stronger. Moreover, protein and uh, protoplasm coloured are easier to uh, denature and uh, solidify under moist and heat conditions, and the enzyme uh, system is easy to be uh, destroyed. So, um, nowadays, high temperature and uh, high pressure autoclave sterilization uh, it's more more popular and uh, um, better performance on it. <clears throat> and uh, usually the auto uh, autoclave uh, has has double doors. One door faces to the bagging or uh, bottling room, and the <clears throat> and the uh, filled the uh, filled the bags or bottles is pushed in um in the chamber through the door uh, after being loaded into the sterilization carts or trolleys, uh, and the second door is connected to the cooling room. Uh, just after finishing the sterilization, um, just to push push the filled mushroom bags or bottles directly out and into the cooling room. That's very uh, convenient. And you don't need to uh, take it out and then um, push it uh, from this, uh, from the sterilization room and uh, to the cooling room. So just uh, uh, open the um, the second door, then it can um, take it very easily and more convenient. And part five is cooling room. Do you know why? Uh, why does the factory need the cooling room? Um, because. Uh, 
because uh, after sterilization, the temperature of the substrate bags or bottles are very, also are very high. Uh, if this time you uh, do the inoculation, so the uh, inoculation spawn or culture will be killed by the high temperature. So you have to cooling down uh, to let the temperature reach at 24 or 25 uh, degrees Celsius. So um, it uh, will be most safe way. <clears throat> Uh, so the cooling room needs to be the um, air conditioning uh, unit and the air cleaner. So the uh, the room structure is required to have good air um, tightness. Uh, in addition to the installation of the uh, air conditioning equipment, an air um, Purification system must also be installed. That's very important. And uh, also need the outside lights, etc. Uh, okay, uh, part six and uh, just inoculation room. When the temperature is cool, cool down, and then it's time to do the inoculation. Uh, the inoculation room is a place where the inoculation machine uh, is placed and the inoculation is carried out. The inoculation room requires clean indoor air. Wood inoculation uh, just reduces air mo movement. Therefore, the floor of the inoculation room should be treated with dust and the air inlet should be installed with an air purification system. Install, install and travelet lamp, self-cleaner <coughs> inside, etc. Just make the, uh, make the room uh, at the sterile uh, environment. And you know, during this phase, <coughs> uh, if, uh, if air is dusty, uh, it's very easier to get contaminated. Um, once your spawn um, during the inoculation phase is infected, so the whole room of the mushroom bag, bags can can be used because uh, it will uh, cause uh, the nearby mushroom bags or bottles uh, get infected too. So the whole cycle or a whole room, as you know, uh, one room can hold a uh, book or large amount of the bags or bottles. So once one uh, bag gets infect infected, so others also can be uh, not available. Okay, uh, after inoculation is uh, completed, then we'll go into the incubation room just to make the culture or spawn uh, grow up and uh, fill, uh, filled, uh, filled with all sides of the mushroom bags. Uh, when grow up well, the mushroom bags will um, get uh, white color um, for uh, in four side, sides of the mushroom bags. <coughs> so, uh, the mushroom bags or bottles is placed in uh, in the uh, in the incubation room to cultivate the, um, the spawn or culture. During mycelium cultivation, suitable temperature, oxygen, and uh, humidity are required, and a large amount of respiratory, uh, respiratory heat and carbon dioxide 
dioxide will be generated during the maximum growth. Uh, therefore, uh, the, cut, uh, the incubation room needs to be uh, installed the um, climate control unit uh, held, uh, held in mid affairs, ventilations, etc. Uh, just to regulate the temperature, humidity, humidity and uh, control uh, ventilation uh, when the equipment in order to avoid the pollution and to increase the yield, the air in light needs to be uh, installed with an air um, purification system. Uh, usually, there are three to four um, uh, green uh, racks or shelves in each uh, incubation room each with the um, usually uh, from seven to eight layers. Each layer is <clears throat> uh, just 1.2 meters wide and about uh, uh, eight or nine meters long uh, and then leave uh, 80 centimeters uh, uh, between the uh, between the both uh, shelves to facilitate the uniform the diffusion of air and uh, heat and convenient operation. Uh, that's the normal uh, standard of popular dimensions about it. Uh, it's uh, just for your reference. If you have no idea about it, you can try this. Just have a try. Um, that's usually used in China or Chinese mushroom factories. So uh, here, just for your reference, you also can, according to your actual um, incubation rooms, you make it, you make the designing uh, which suitable for you more. Okay. Um, next is part eight or defunging uh, removing machine. Uh, just remove the old funding after first flush or uh, one flush. Then you uh, also need to um, <coughs> com uh, compensate or invert the water, just to get the water or nutrition for it. So therefore, it can go into nest, uh, or nest flushes. Okay, next we will go in, uh, into the floating room. Floating uh, room is a place where the floating uh, bodies of the mushroom form, grow, and uh, develop. Um, usually, there are four to five uh, green racks or shelves each. <coughs> And uh, uh, usually uh, uh, with the five to six floors or layers and uh, seven to eight meters long and uh, uh, three meters high. And usually uh, they uh, one, one meter uh, cellar between the um, cultivation racks or uh, shelves to allow air conditioning to diffuse. Uh, uniform in illumination and easy operation. As for the uh, controlled, uh, controlled the, uh, temperature and the humidity <coughs> and uh, carbon dioxide content, you can um, Actually, different uh, mushroom types requires different uh, uh, different data, so you can um, according to your mushroom types. Okay. <clears throat> o 
Okay. Uh, some mushroom require uh, different ca uh, cultivation conditions for um, bud intensification and uh, fruiting body development, and they need to be carried out in different rooms. Therefore, the, for, uh, the fertility room can be divided, divided into two rooms. Individual mushrooms that produce more spores uh, spores need a uh, separate, sep separate uh, mushroom picking room. Okay, next is the um, uh, just uh, to process the use the mushroom um, bags or bottles. Also, there is a related machine to process the uh, wasted mushroom bags or bottles. Also, the machines for the bags or um, bottles are different. If you have a need, you can message us or leave any comments here. When we see that, we can uh, message you and uh, contact you as soon as possible. And uh, after uh, processing it, uh, it will uh, remove the wasted, the substrate or compost material uh, from the uh, plastic bags or bottles. Uh, for the wasted uh, compost material also can be uh, used as the uh, organic fertilizer for the um, fruiting or vegetable and the trees growing. It's a good choice. <clears throat> uh, and uh, and for the um, for, um, broken the back uh, plastic um, it's uh, just uh, uh, just can be used and throughout for the bottles uh, after empty uh, the bottles also can be reused in uh, in next or future uh, cycle and just to make um, make it all recycle as soon as possible as more as possible Okay, um, part 11, just the packing room. Um, you can consider to your local market uh, demand and, and then to decide how to pack it. Okay. Uh, and after the uh, fr uh, fresh mushroom, uh, mushroom uh, have a, Harvested, they are measured and packed in the packaging room. In order to ensure the cleanliness, clean lines of the products, the floor of the packaging packaging room needs to be the dust proof and reduce the dust. And at the same time, it's necessary to configure cooling equipment to maintain a con constant temperature during the product packaging and uh, avoid the high temperature affect the fresh mushroom quality. Okay, uh, part 12 is the cold room. Um, as you know, uh, many uh, large, large amount of the fresh mushroom, um, you get it, you have to uh, store it with the very uh, lower, very low uh, temperature to store it. Uh, <clears throat> after the uh, fresh mushroom is packed, well, uh, it's stored in the cold room to extend the shelf life of the fresh mushroom. The cold room needs to be equipped, equipped with the um, I don't know, um, 
code in code equipment, uh, regular ventilation. Okay. Uh, as far as we know, some growers prefer to um, purchase the uh, spoon or culture from local a local shop or, or somewhere. But uh, um, for the larger mushroom factory, um, they usually uh, build up build up their own um, spoon or culture uh, culture room to produce the um, the inoculation spawn or culture with the different mushroom species. Uh, <clears throat> and it also need to be equipped with the uh, string cultivation rooms, the seeding cultivation room. It's a field of the cultivation all levels of bacterial. Therefore, the designing and uh, construction of the culture room must meet the requirements and the other uh, requirements. And the cultivation room should be equipped with the air conditioning uh, unit or system and the floor rest rest lights for lighting and the curtains and the windows for shading. Uh, for shedding uh, curtain. The cultivation room should be also be placed in a cons constant temperature incubator. Cultivation racks and other equipment when making mother seeds or spoon and a small am amount of the original seeds. Cultivation uh, um, constant temperature box uh, when making the cultivated seeds and a large number of original seeds, put them on a culti um, culture rack for cultivation. Okay, that's the complete uh, line about the layout or uh, designing about one mushroom farm or factory. If you have any ideas or minds or questions, uh, whatever you have, you can message us. Uh, we are also willing to provide uh, good advice or suggestion uh, to your uh, future or current mushroom building. building. <clears throat> okay, uh, if you also have special uh, special questions about the fac mushroom factory uh, and uh, or if you have requirements about the mushroom cultivation equipment, you also can uh, email, sorry, and this way. Uh, just email us or just the um, overview of our, of our website. You can, uh, you can, I think you can learn more. Yes, uh, any interests or uh, any problems or any questions about the designing of the mushroom factory, you also can uh, message us or email us. Uh, maybe here we can uh, we can answer all the questions you have. But uh, uh, after you ca contacting with us, we will try our best to solve the problems you made. Okay. And we also uh, provide the, the uh, full system of the mushroom cultivation room from uh, from the uh, raw material crusher and to um, to the get fruiting equipment we we have all so uh, any requirements or any uh, demands you have just uh, contact us directly uh, we won't you let, let we won't let you down okay if you uh, have interest about our sector uh, of our company set rights um, you also can contact us, okay? I'm your mushroom lady, Anna.
Okay, thanks for watching our live streaming. And uh, next week, same time, uh, you will see me here at the same time. Okay, just uh, follow us. We can get you more uh, info about the mushroom cultivation. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching, friends, guests, everyone. Okay, bye bye, and uh, please check here. And happy new year to you and to your family. Okay, see you. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.